All right, Pisces. Let's do another reading for you guys. This is going to be <clears throat> you and your person, you and the person on your mind. Um, so this is going to be a reading kind of like how um, I do Pisces dealing with all signs. Okay, so yeah, I was going to do a reading for you earlier, but then so I had a different deck picked out. Um, but then I got a few phone calls. And so now, shifting energy, I'm doing something different. All right, so let's do. All right, so we're going to be pulling three card, four cards from the Rebel deck. Don't mind me. Three cards, four cards. Why do I keep saying three cards? I don't even do that. Four cards. Maybe I should only pull three. Let's just do three. No, let's do four. I can't do that. It's like odd. All right, so four. Four cards from the Rebel deck. For Pisces and their person. Ask an effing expert. Don't rely on your friends or the internet. Listen to a dime professional. Okay, so, and you need some yoga in your life. Ancient sh is cool. Okay, so some of you guys... Um, this is giving me like healing vibes, meditation vibes. Um, let's see what else comes up. Don't effing force it. Allow that sh come to you. Okay, so don't force a situation. Allow the divine timing to t take its course. One more, please, for Pisces. Get. Get the F outside. Move your ass. Okay, your body is pissed at you. So with this, you need some yoga in your life. Some of you guys, man or woman, doesn't matter. Yoga is not just for women. Men can use it too. Um, someone here may need to stretch. Get outside. Go get some vitamin D. All right. Um, maybe go for a run if that's something that you guys can do. If you can't run, walk. Um, if you can't do those, then lay on the ground and stretch. Do... Swimming is also very good, um, like water therapy, aroma, or aromatherapy, water aerobics, <laughs> aromatherapy. Maybe some of you guys do need some aromatherapy because I bust out my candle today. It smells great. All right, so let's see. Let's get four cards from the Andromeda Skies. This is for Pisces and their person on their mind. What messages do you have? I feel like I ruined everything. So either you feel like you ruined everything or your person, whoever's on your mind, feels like they ruined everything. What else? I feel you. Long distance and I find you incredibly attractive. So either you still are highly attracted to whoever this is. Um... Distance could be an issue. This could be emotional distance, geographical distance. But someone here also feels like they ruined everything or they ruined something. Um, there could be a third party for some of you guys. Third party doesn't always have to be like another person. It could be like a job. It could be um, friends, family, uh, or, you know, something that someone's going through in their life. <clears throat> With this ask an, ask an expert, someone may be listening to their friends or family or what people around them have to say about a situation, and that could be the third party that's interfering in whatever. Spirit is saying, don't force it. Allow it to come to you. Okay? So we have, I replay our conversations over and over. So someone may actually be, like, looking through their text messages, listening to old voicemails or whatever. I can't stop thinking about you. Yeah, someone's like... What was that? I want you. Yeah, someone here, and I feel you, and I want you. Someone wants to feel you. <laughs> okay, and I wish I could take back my words. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. For some of you guys, there could be an actual uh, third party in this situation. Someone is definitely still attracted to you, or you're attracted to this person. Someone still wants you, but is it love? At first, I thought it was I love you, but it was I want you, okay? 
Someone is definitely replaying conversations over and over. They can't stop thinking about you. They feel like they ruined everything. I also feel like someone may have said some things that were... I, I just heard hit below the belt. Someone may have said some things that was like below the belt, uncalled for. Okay, so let's jump on into your tarot reading, see what messages we get from here. All right, first card out is going to be for Pisces overall energy. Pisces overall energy. Tomorrow I will start with your guys'. Uh, I started like a week ago and then got sidetracked. But um, maybe I'll redo Aries. I did Aries already. Your first half of March readings for all signs. So you guys can watch for those. If you want to cross watch your other placements or whatever. All right. Pisces. Overall energy, please, for Pisces. Single cards only. What is Pisces overall energy? Seven of Wands, standing your ground, standing up for yourself and for your beliefs, having confidence, challenge those in power, but also choose your battles wisely. Show me Pisces person. What is their overall energy? Ace of Pentacles. Okay. So your person may be getting some type of a new contract, a new job, a pay raise, a promotion. They may be getting approved for a loan, for a home. They may be buying a large ticket item like a house or a car, um, student loans or something to that nature. There could be a windfall of abundance. We got wise counsel or good fortune, an exciting career opportunity, a lucrative contract, significant purchases like a home or a vehicle. So your person, keep in mind, energy can always be reversed or flip the rules according to your situation. Uh, one of you, I feel like, is standing, standing your ground. Some of you guys may be blocking uh, people, places, and things out that no longer serve you, standing up for yourself, okay? Show me Pisces emotions, please. What's in Pisces emotions? If you guys like these readings, let me know. Smash that thumbs up button. Show your support for the channel. All right, Pisces emotions, please. What's in Pisces emotions? Eight of Pentacles. So you're focused on your work, okay, on your craft, on your skill. Um, some of you guys may be learning some type of a new skill, a new trade, or you guys are very skilled. So your emotions, Eight of Pentacles. I feel like you guys are focused on your work. Going back to school, taking a seminar, finding a mentor, attention to detail and skilled work that you love. So some of you guys are just keeping your head down and working. Some of you guys may be actually learning something new or being mentored by someone. Or you could be mentoring someone. Okay. Teaching others. Show me Pisces person's emotions. Happy birthday to everybody out there. Pisces season, Pisces gang, woo woo. All right, all right, Pisces person, magician, Virgo, Gemini energy, magic is alive in your life. What you need to be a success will manifest. If you believe it, you can do it. So your person is like full on manifestation mode. Okay, the Ace of Pentacles, they may be trying to manifest some type of a new opportunity, a new job, a new car, whatever this is. They have all the skills that they need to create the outcome that they desire. This person is also very skilled. So whatever side of this coin you're on, I feel like both of you guys are kind of... Um, I heard get out of the way. Um, like move out of the way. Like, like you guys are... I don't know. Get out of the way. Okay, show me Pisces next move. What is Pisces next move? King of Swords. Aquarius, the Gemini energy. So it fell in the reverse. King of Swords. Your next move. Some of you guys may not be speaking at this time. Or not making a decision about something. The King of Swords is intelligent, impartial, respected, stoic, receiving wise advice, remain objective and fair-minded. 
Public speaking, communicate clearly, unemotional relationships are being emotionally unavailable. So the King of Swords in the reverse can also be someone who's abusing their power and their authority. Not saying you are. Don't don't claim it if it ain't it. Okay. But my first thought was if it, you know, some of you guys may just not be making a decision, maybe not communicating clearly, maybe not saying something that may need to be said, withholding some type of information or keeping something close to your chest. Um, show me Pisces person. What is Pisces person's next move? Hey, three of swords. What the hell? Okay, so great sadness that will heal with time. Let go of the past, personal growth that comes from challenges, healing misunderstandings, and being there for those in need. So your person may be trying to heal from some type of heartbreak. Um, if there is a third party, it's possibly in your person's energy, if this is them. Maybe that's why you're not speaking to this person, because you know there's a third party. Pisces, you guys are very intuitive. That could be why you're standing your ground. You got your guards up. You're defensive. You're focused on your work, uh, focused on your craft or your skills or whatever it is that um, you're working on. Your person may be trying to like manifest a new opportunity or they're trying to manifest like I don't know what they're trying to do. Let's keep going. Show me Pisces intentions. Their next move is the three of swords. Yeah, the high priestess. Like I was saying, Pisces, you're very intuitive. You know something here. Your, your intuition is telling you something. Okay, with this high priestess. And the high priestess also stays silent. So this is just giving me clarification of what that king of swords, what I thought it was, is what it is. The high priestess stays silent. She knows more than what she speaks on. Okay, she knows the truth. However, with the high priestess, she stays silent in the upright. Meditate and turn inward to discover your soul's true desire. Now is not the time for action. Develop your intuitive gifts and trust of wisdom that you receive. So yeah, I feel like a lot of you guys are just standing your ground in a situation. Protecting what you have created. Protecting your craft. Protecting your work. Protecting what is... Um, Whatever it is that you've been putting work into, whether it's your family life, your home life, your kids, your your schooling, your um, your actual nine to five job or whatever you work, you know, whatever it is that is working for you. You're protecting that you're standing your ground, you're not speaking, you're not saying anything. I feel like, you know, more than what you're saying. And that's why you're not saying anything. OK, show me Pisces person. What is their intentions? I don't see any emotions out here. Oh, excuse me. Pisces person's intentions. Okay. So intuitively, this was the other message I got and spirit just clarified it when I said that there's no emotions like I don't there's no cups out here. And when I was reading these Oracle cards in the beginning, um, I feel you. I want you. I can't stop thinking about you. I find you incredibly attractive. I replay our conversations over and over. I wish I could take back my words. There's distance here. Someone feels like they ruined everything. They're saying you don't know how hard it was to let you go, but there obviously was a third party. They possibly wish that they could take it back. You may have just been a fling to this person and don't shoot the messenger. Okay, with this, this was just a fling underneath that. Um, this person may have been involved with someone. So this person's intentions, Knight of Wands, uh, to come rushing in very passionately. The Knight of Wands is impulsive, can be a little bit hasty, reckless, unreliable, flighty, in and out. It doesn't stay. It moves very quickly, very passionately, can talk about one night stands. 
Okay, passionate, confident, charismatic, restless uh, events that require immediate action. Trust your instincts and stay focused in a passionate relationship. So again, Pisces, you may feel with this King of Swords that came out in the reverse as your next move. Some of you guys... Yeah, some of you guys may feel like this person abuses their power and their authority. This person may even feel like you abuse your power and your authority. Maybe you go silent on them or what do you call that? Silent treatment. Okay, King of Swords in the reverse, High Priestess. Upright, that's like silent treatment. Uh, so someone may feel like you're uh, being manipulative in a sense by like not speaking or giving someone the silent treatment, but I don't feel like it's being manipulative. I feel like it's boundaries, seven of wands, it's boundaries. So this person comes rushing and it's like, and their next move is the three of swords. It's like this person's next move. The three of swords can talk about third party heartbreak. So it's like, is that what you're trying to do? Are you trying to have a third party? Are you trying to break someone's heart? Like, what, what the hell does that even mean? Three of swords in their next move. The card speaks a little differently. Great sadness that will heal with time. So maybe this person feels like, oh, let me give Pisces a little bit of time to heal from this and I'll come rushing back in. That's my intentions. I'll come rushing back in, but let me, let me give Pisces a little bit of time to heal from this heartbreak, from this third party. Maybe if I come in with a gift or something and, you know, magician style, I can, yeah, seven of swords on the bottom of the deck. It's like if I come in very suave, magician style, very sneakily, stealth, stealthly, what in the hell? Stealth mode. That's like off a video game. I don't even play video games. I mean, I'm not going to say I haven't, but I don't. I think that that's stealth mode. I don't really know what that means, but I'm pretty sure it's from a video game. Anyways, that's why you guys aren't speaking. You guys have boundaries here. You guys are focused on your work. You're using your intuition. You guys are smarter than I feel like someone's given you credit for. Someone may feel like you are deceitful or like you're giving them the silent treatment or you're manipulating a situation by not speaking, by being, they may feel like you're being sneaky and secretive. The high priest just can talk about secrets too, you know? They can even feel like you're withholding information. Anyways. Um... This person's next move is three of swords, knight of wands. Their intentions is to knight of wands. They don't plan on staying. So this person, they're very attracted to you. They, they, they think about you all the time, but they don't have staying power. Bunny. Okay. The bunnies are over there. I legitimately felt something touching the back of my leg. Like, a lot. That was weird. Let's move on to the outcome. Eight of Wands. Give me four more, please, for the outcome between these two. Ooh, Ten of Pentacles. Okay, three more. Empress? Okay. Where are you? King of Pentacles? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Virgo. A masculine, maybe. Capricorn. Some of you guys could be dealing with a feminine. A Libra. Pisces. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Doesn't have to be. I'm just calling out the signs I see here. One more, please. So... Oh, how did that go? Ten of Wands, yikes. I'm going to have to clarify these. So, Eight of Wands can talk about travel, quick messages, action being taken, sent, 
received, too much going on, stress caused by many positive opportunities, unexpected events or rapid changes, the ability to multitask business and travel. And then you got the Ten of Pentacles. So someone here could be building a business, building some sort of a legacy. Things may be taken off. Someone may have a lot of shit going on, be building on a family. Someone may be, I see a pregnant lady here so, and a kid. Someone may definitely be. Someone could also just be traveling to go see family. Anyways, financial security for yourself and for your family. Inheritance or retirement. Peace and contentment in your life. Honoring family traditions, pride in the family tree, and passing on knowledge. Okay, and then you have the Empress. So with this Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, your person may be like... I don't know. For some of you guys, this person may actually be coming in wanting to, like, get you pregnant, start a family. The Empress could be a mother, could be someone who's pregnant as well. If it's not you, it could be someone else or... Anyways, the Empress, uh, time to take action, give birth to your dreams, creative projects that will be very successful, abundance and prosperity. Then you have the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Compassionate, accomplished, charismatic, grounded, a time of great success, financial security and prosperity, the Midas touch, everything turning out beautifully, a supportive parent and spouse and a good person to work for. Okay, then we have the Five of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands on the bottom of the deck. So there is some type of stress or financial hardship or burdens here. Maybe somebody works a lot. Five of Pentacles talks about negative thoughts manifesting into real challenges, fear surrounding money, reach out to others for assistance, poor timing for becoming self-employed. So what in the world is going on here? Hmm. Because this energy looks great and then it's like, bam. What happened? I wonder if uh, I wonder for some of you guys, like I was saying before, this person may be their next move. They may be waiting for you to heal from like whatever happened in the past, whatever happened between the two of you so that they can rush in very passionately. This person's trying to manifest a brand new opportunity. The Eight of Wands, Ten of Pentacles. This person may even want to move into marriage very quickly. Commitment. And then the Five of Pentacles. And is someone having financial struggles or problems here? Or health problems? What is this? <clears throat> Or are you leaving this situation out in the cold? Or are you declining? Why is the Eight of Wands here? Judgment. Scorpio energy. Judgment can talk about something coming back around, a reconciliation, forgiveness, learning some type of major lesson. So maybe somebody's coming back in very quickly. Um... Wanting to like a redo, redo, a do over, wanting your forgiveness. Um, maybe they have learned some type of lessons here. Some of the Ten of Pentacles. Seven of Swords. Yo. Okay, it doesn't always have to be bad. So give me one more from the Ten of Pentacles. Because if someone's trying to steal someone's legacy, steal someone's money, steal someone's inheritance, or someone's lying about being married, or lying about money, or lying about an inheritance, now we got a problem. Now, if someone's trying to strategize how to come in and create this, that's a little different. Knight of Pentacles is what wanted to show itself. So Knight of Pentacles can talk about planning, strategizing. Uh, slow and steady wins the race. It's about... Paying attention to detail, mapping out a plan to work towards something that is stable and long-lasting. 
Actually, give me one more of those Ten of Pentacles and the Swords. What was that for? The Nine of Swords. One more, just to be cautious. One more of those Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so someone regrets something here. This person may regret lying about being married. They may be stressed out up in their head about whatever was deceptive that was done. There is some type of sadness, regret, remorse. It's like someone is definitely like feeling some type of way. Maybe this person cheated. Maybe they had other options, okay? Um, maybe they lied. Something had to do with a large lump sum of money or a family dynamic as well. Show me this Seven of Swords. Eight of Wands. So someone's strategizing how to come in and communicate, how to take action, how to move something very quickly. And they're they're worried up in their head. Crying over spilled milk. King of Wands reverse. Ew. This gonna just be someone who's lacking confidence, lacking the courage, lacking the willpower to like. Oh gosh. What is it? Look, what is the King of Wands in the reverse? The Page of Swords in the reverse and Five of Pentacles. So, well, who are you dealing with, Pisces? We've got Aries, Leo, Sag, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Someone here may be lying about their financial status, okay? The Page of Swords in the reverse is someone who's petty, someone who tells little white lies, someone who fabricates information. Okay, the King of Wands also is someone who could be promiscuous, egotistical, a bully, a tyrant, okay? Someone who um, may have issues with like confidence or self-worth. With this Five of Pentacles ending this outcome, that's the card I was like really thrown off by. Now, if the Five of Pentacles just showed itself with that Page of Swords in the reverse, King of Wands in the reverse, this person's not being honest about something. And we're clarifying the Ten of Pentacles. That could mean family, too. This person may even be lying about a child. And they regret something and they're worried that something may come out, but they want to move something very quickly or take action. I don't know. Show me the Empress. Four of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles and Nine of Wands. So this Empress um, is someone who's very financially stable, has a lot. And I feel like she's holding back. She's very guarded towards whatever energy this is. It's like someone who's guarded, guarding, guarding their own money, guarding their home, their stability, their finances, their legacy, whatever it is. She may have felt like she's been through battle. Yeah, she's holding on to something. Some of this King of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Queen of Swords, Three of Cups, Three of Wands. Definitely could be a third party here. Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. You got two threes. So the third party could be an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, depending if you know you're masculine or feminine. Um this could be someone at a distance. Someone may have reunited, celebrated with someone at a distance. This could have been an ex with this Queen of Swords here. Maybe these two were committed to one another. Show me the Five of Pentacles. Two of Swords. Yeah, it's what you don't see. 
is the five of pentacles that somebody here is struggling financially they're burdened they're off balanced they're not making any type or they made a poor financial choice and decision that's what that is two of swords and that's what you don't see that's why somebody's burdened bringing their baggage to your door be careful the knight of pentacles ten of swords ace of swords king of swords yeah you know the truth you know the truth about some type of a harsh, painful ending of betrayal, but you've gotten clarity. Someone's planning to like come in and invest into you, but they don't have shit or they're going through their own struggles at this time. And that's what you don't see. This person made a financial choice or a decision, a poor financial choice or decision, and they're feeling out of stalemate. They're feeling um, maybe like they hit a brick wall. Two cards, Aquarius energy. This person may see you as wish fulfillment, high priestess and the star, Aquarius, Pisces energy. It's a star, temperance. Yeah, some of you guys are earth angels, very enlightened, highly gifted. And this person wants to rush in towards you and take action towards you very passionately. That's how you'll know who this person is. Okay, I'm just going to leave that there. I said everything and I'm not going to repeat it, but um, 31, 33 on the clock when I looked up. I keep seeing threes, threes, threes. Okay. Third party was here. There's definitely was or is a third party. I feel like someone lied about something. Somebody was operating out of ego. King of Wands in the reverse. Um... Karmic relationship, fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go and loving you. So some of you guys may be letting go. This could be a karmic relationship to you. Um, for some of you guys, I was noticing the Queen of Swords came out and you have the King of Swords over here. You have a King of Pentacles here. King of Wands reverse right there. So there's like no counterpart, divine counterpart energy, except maybe this Queen of Swords who's connected to this King of Pentacles. So... Pisces, if you're the masculine, maybe you're feminine, made some type of poor financial choice or decision. Someone may be wanting to come in and like commit to something or rush in very quickly to like, they do have regrets. They are worried, but this person like lied or they were in their ego. I don't see whoever this empress is. I don't see her really going for it. Palm tree, stability, security, performance, growth endurance and flexibility you literally have the empress clarified with the ten of pentacles the empress clarified with this ten of pentacles twice my nose keeps itching too so she may have like whoever this person is maybe very uh, uh stable secure she could even be married have a family anyways uh the snake Come competition, enemy, clever, malicious, look over your shoulder and the other woman. Hmm. Addiction, codependent, obsession, possession, controlling, block, has a restraint. Um, show me this Queen of Swords' this energy. The Tower Scorpio energy. Oh my gosh. She knows Queen of Swords. She may be going like she, the Tower again and the Wheel of Fortune reversed. Holy shit. Whoa. So somebody's going through a major change, transformation. Something here is being uprooted, upheaval. There could be delays, there could be setbacks, there could be bad karma. Uh, that could be why something's blowing up. Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. This person right here, I feel like who's the third party? This may be the third party that you need to watch your back for. 
with this snake. This person could be a snake. The third party at a distance. Whoever this woman is. It's going to be someone who's very intelligent, but they're they're attached to some type of destruction, chaos, bad karma, bankruptcy, divorce, whatever the hell this is. This is something not turning out in this person's favor. You may need to watch your back for this person. Or the man may, or, or whoever. Whoever you are. You guys know where you fit in the story. I don't. For all of you guys, it could be slightly different. Um... What's his King of Wands reverse? What's his overall energy? Two of Wands reverse. So this is Two of Cups. This person may be indecisive or... Um, ouch. This person could be indecisive. Okay. Not making any choices or decisions here. Indec indecision. Uh, they may be defending themselves. They could be out of work at this time. This could be this five of pentacles energy. This person's lying about it. Whatever. I'm done. Okay. This person's lying about it. Lying about their financial status, their job, their business, whatever it is that they're doing. They're, they're fibberooing. Okay. Let's say that. And I'm going to leave this reading here. If it resonated, I didn't even see this. The sword and the rose fell out. Sword or clarity, truth, revelation, solidarity, force, honor, protection, and power. So maybe there's a need for you guys to protect yourself. So maybe you guys have gotten clarity and that's what you're doing. You're protecting yourself by holding back from this individual. Because with the high priestess and that king of swords in the reverse that came out in your overall energy and seven of wands, you guys are definitely setting up boundaries, not speaking. You know more than what you're saying. And I feel like that's why you're not speaking is because you do know more than what you're saying. So I'm going to leave this reading here. If it resonates, let me know. Smash that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.